Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play new coats of paint on the piano. So as you can see in the structure, there's a few main sections to this, okay? There's four main sections and once you learn it, it's pretty easy to play through, okay? And also, the left hand pattern, there's like this chord progression for every single section that's the same. So once you learn the first section for the left hand, the chords are really easy for the left hand, alright? So anyway, let's give you a playthrough of section one first. Check it out. Give you a preview first. Let's learn right now. Here we go. So right hand starts on the C sharp here, middle C here. So C sharp, E, C sharp, and then octave above C sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, B, F sharp. That's it for the first part. So we'll break up each section to four parts. It's easy to learn. All right. Let's learn it once again. So it goes C sharp, E, C sharp, and then octave above C sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, B, F sharp. That's it for the notes for the first part for the right hand. Left hand, we have four chords here. Four chords are very important because pretty much every part of this lesson is this four chords in this particular order. All right, so go C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. Second chord is F sharp major, which is fully black note chord, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Third chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. And fourth chord is G sharp major, which is G sharp, C, D sharp. So with these four chords in mind, so C sharp minor, F sharp major, a major and G sharp major. The two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts after C sharp, C sharp minor by itself. Right hand continues together. F sharp and A major together. F sharp and G sharp major together. That's it for the first part. Let's learn it again. So it goes here together, together, together. Okay, moving on to the second part of this first section. Right hand continues up to the C sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp. E, F sharp, E, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp. So you can see some similarities to the first part. Just instead of B, it goes to C sharp for the higher note. All right. So let's learn it again. It goes C sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have the same four chords again that you know, which is C sharp minor, F sharp major, A major, and G sharp major. That's why I said it's so important to learn those four chords because it appears a lot of times in a lot of the um, parts, all right. So it goes like this: two hands together. It goes here, together. F sharp and A major together. F sharp and G sharp major together. Just like that. And that's the second part. Let's learn it again. It goes here, together, together, together. That's so it for the second part. Moving on to the third part. Okay, right hand continues. It goes C sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, E down to the lowest C sharp, E. F sharp, E, G sharp. That's it for the third part for the right hand. Let's learn it again. So starting on the highest C sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, E down to the lowest C sharp, E, F sharp, E, G sharp. With that in mind, left hand, same four chords again. Once again, you know it already. C sharp minor, F sharp major, A major, G sharp major. Down together goes like this. So it goes here, together, E and A major together. After G sharp, G sharp major by itself. Like that. Let's learn it again. It goes here, together, together yeah that's it moving on to the fourth and last part Ryan continues goes c sharp e f sharp e f sharp e g sharp f sharp e f sharp e c sharp c sharp e f sharp e c sharp c sharp that's it for the right hand let's learn it again so it goes c sharp e f sharp e f sharp e g sharp f sharp e f sharp e c sharp c sharp e f sharp e c sharp c sharp this time left hand for the fourth part we have five chords but don't worry it's actually just the four chords that you learned which is c sharp minor f sharp major a major g sharp major and fifth chord is just back to c sharp minor so yeah pretty much the same chords all right that's why it says it's so important to learn those chords in the first part all right so it's five chords c sharp minor f sharp major a major g sharp minor major sorry and then c sharp minor with that in mind two hands together goes like this the so right hand starts off with the first four notes and then the next f sharp and c sharp minor together e and f sharp major together after A, after E, A major by itself, and then F sharp and G sharp major together. Last C sharp and C sharp minor together. That's it. Let's learn it again. It goes together, together, 
Chia. Chikala. Chikala. And there you go. That's it for the first section. Now, the second section, this. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel, and see you next time.